hello beautiful people you're welcome to my channel if you're new here you're welcome if you're an existing viewer you're also welcome now this short video is about the bohaha between the billionaire former politician um, ned umoko and his young wife regina daniels and also the other wife the moroccan wife of um, ned umoko called leila the beautiful leila has been married to ned umoko and i think they have about three or four children together um but um in the last few hours let's say like approximately a day things have gone pear shipped and it has been exposed online that um leila has officially divorced her husband not much was really known about um, ned uoko before until he got married to regina daniels when she was i think about 18 years and it was immersed in a lot of um controversies about a man who has plenty of children already and um who you know has a lot of wives and children and also wants to marry a young girl however they got married you know they did the traditional wedding and all of that and they become husband and wife now jeruma is the kayamata seller she's the woman behind the jeruma empire who sells um adult stuff you know so and um over the last couple of let's say a year or thereabouts we've seen uh um friendship with um Regina Daniels, where you know they both feature in short video clips on adverts and talk about how um, Regina Daniels uses uh, Jeremiah's products, Kayamata products, for you know to enhance her stuff and all of that. Now, in recent times, people have been talking about um, the Moroccan wife and Ned Umoko on following each other on social media. Yes, they've been talking about that, and it was actually unfounded until some days ago when Leila, this Moroccan wife, came online on her Instagram page to tell people that, um, yes, she's done, she's divorced from Ned Umoko, and anybody who wants to unfollow her because uh, of him should please find it, um, you know, so just do so and let her be. And this is a woman that, honestly, when um, Ned Umoko got married to Regina, people were, you know, talking about, oh, you know, this other Moroccan lady too is very beautiful and all of that. We should be able to take it. And she was taking it. She was sucked it in for, I think, about two or three years now since the relationship between Eduoko and um, um, Regina Daniel started to this moment. So, you know, and people have been saying that Eduoko is always celebrating Regina alone, going on vacations with her because there was even a recent video of them going on vacation with their son and that is not balancing the relationship you know and really there's so much one can take when it comes to relationships and marriage but Leila has been, always been like a gentle and more she's, definitely she's more mature but you know there's so much that um anybody could take when it comes to certain situations so let me just read the post that um blew the whole thing up by regina for clarity's sake i have and will never use any kayamata product jeremiah paid me to help make random posts for her I personally gave my terms concerning the kind of post to be made. Along the line, we became friends. I was warned severally to keep her at arm's length and mind my association with her, but it is not in my nature to judge a person from another's perspective. But in her case, I should have known better. She constantly uses every opportunity to create content to profit off my person and my brand even after our payment deal expired. I tolerated it because I believed I understood a person and felt I should give her the benefit of doubt and maintain a cordial friendship. But with time, but this time, I will not tolerate Jaruma using this issue that practically portrayed me as a bad person for her selfish desires, knowing fully well that I have never, I will never use whatever she sells as I have no reason to. Hmm, this, this one is Shoko. So definitely, like she just explained, uh, it was a business relationship, you know, and they had the terms of agreement, which was st stated. And along the line, they became friends and, um, you know, things got more familiar. You know, when the business relationship now turns to friendship, it, it, definitely a lot of things will come into play. So you will be wondering now that, uh, well, what really happened? Why is there so much whatever? Now, um, when the Moroccan wife, you know, expressed herself on Instagram um, two days ago, it was taken in different contexts and people came out to say oh it's the kayamata that is working that regina has used kayamata um you know those kind of 
talks among women and all of that but it's it's really deeper than that as we can see you know as regina has come out to really really you know you know, express herself her hurts about whatever it is that jeremiah has done to her okay now so if you're a brand ambassador of something and you're claiming you bought it 10 billion naira that they were showing at one point so that means it's all been very very fake it's all been very very fake so i will read the other parts by jaruma a post also jaruma constantly uses every opportunity to create content are you serious right now why didn't you also tell the world the, the price a wolfing 10 million naira you must be joking gina jaruma and regina were friends for a year before jaruma paid regina 10 million naira just for the purpose of visibility and reaching more audience since Gina was in the spotlight for marrying a much older man. Hmm. Hey, people, this is this is quite messy. Okay, I'll just paraphrase. Maybe because Gina felt Jeruma is in Dubai and so she can just do anyhow. In six months, she only pasted three times. Okay, so now we are we are getting to know, you know, more about all of this as both parties are coming out to to talk about how they became friends and they became business partners and what actually went um, on in their relationship as friends. Okay, so I'll continue the next slide that says, Breakdown of the friendship before and after the 10 million Naira um, payment. You gave my baby $1,000. I gave your mom 1 million Naira on her birthday. I bought you your headphones and 120000 I paid for your dinner at Sinuki 172000 Naira. On salad day, I gave your maid Leah 100,000. I gave your driver and police 200,000. Hmm. I, I slept by your side in the hospital when you were sick. We went to Leila's house. There, I gave Leila's driver 100,000. I gave Leila's house girls 100,000. I gave Leila's police 200,000. I bought your mom a list of 500,000. We had dinner in Sammy's house. Hmm jesus father god this is this is a list another slide the final one here says a woofing 10 million naira today i will post all and every single video of you that i've been keeping as content to be posted gradually i will post everything today so that tomorrow you will not say jeremiah is using you every every single opportunity to create content with exclamation marks people he's about to get hot it's really about to get hot with all of this and um right now it's really messy as at this minute i just saw another post where somebody else um one of the other um brands that give um, regina um, ambassadorship or endorsement or something also came out to say something about her the name of this um company or cosmetic seller on instagram is everything body and she said, or oh, I think she, she's, a, she's a person is a woman. I implore you, Regina, to return my money back to me immediately because I do not need your help and I do not want your advert anymore. I once again implore you to refund my one million naira as soon as possible since you can't go with initial agreement. Hmm. So this is another person who said that. Now, our sister, Regina Daniel's sister, also came out to oh, my people. She also came out to lend her voice to all of these um, things through on online. Destiny Daniel said, Of course you paid our 10 million naira for the deal, madam. Nobody came to meet you to beg you for money. You single-handedly shared money to those people and made records of it like you were doing it for humanitarian purposes. But it was actually for the clouds. The 1 million you gave my mom was supposedly a birthday gift. The headphones too was an act of friendship because she didn't beg you for it. You wanted her to use it because she had been using the one someone else got for her and you were jealous but let's not go there. Let me just read off the many parts. I can't share everything here. It's quite a very long post. Cloud chasing is only throwing your name in the gutter but since it's what you do to earn a living, I wish you more successful cloud chase auntie Jeruma. Hmm. So this is from Destiny daniels that is Reg, um, regina daniels younger sister now the the Reg, regina daniels brother also came out sammy came out and said something on his instagram page and i'm going to read that quickly 
um at sister jerima empire you know i got love for you normally but you just bust my head you were literally taking note of every single every kind act you rendered willingly please please note it was appreciated and the day we had dinner at my place was a happy family day and i know you enjoyed it but come on you fought my hand do that means your kindness was staged hmm so now Regina, Daniel's siblings, Destiny and Sammy, have come out to, you know, to say that she should stop what she's doing and to show their displeasure, okay, at um, the all the stage cloud chasing um, Jaruma is doing and all of that. Okay, now let's put things in perspective now because this is this should just keep going on and on and on and on and become unending. What I know is that... Um, I don't personally believe in wheeling out um, things that you've done for people, right? I don't think it has gotten to this point where you now have to enumerate to say, I did this, I did that, and all of that. I don't think that is very, very nice. It's a bit distasteful. And, you know, that's why, you know, when you just see things for the gram, people should just think. Now, let me read the post that the Moroccan wife of um, um, Ned Umoku shared online. Hello guys, I just want to say that no one has rights to talk about my marriage. Please talk please stop talking about people's life and I have divorced already. And nothing between me and him and anybody. Follow me because anybody follow me because of him, you can unfollow me, please. Thanks. Okay, now you know everything is just happening all at the same time. And what I will just say is when it comes to polygamy or even when it comes to marriage, there are always problems. And when it comes to a woman who has had three or four children and she's actually a, f a foreigner, you know, she's not a Nigerian and has been successfully married to this Ned Uwoko for a long time before Regina came into the picture, definitely that's a crack on the wall. But for her to have managed it for about three years and people have actually been saying it that Ned has been giving Regina more attention than Leila. Leila too is a very beautiful woman for her own age and for the number of children she's had she's absolutely gorgeous you know and she's not a very loud person she doesn't come on she there was no throwing of shade when her husband got married to regina so uh, that takes a lot of guts as you can see uh, she's a very very beautiful woman you know so i just pray that she finds healing you know <laughs> we all go through things in life at different points in time and um, i just hope that she finds peace also and may God, since she said officially now that she's divorced from Nedu Uoko, I wish her all the best in her future relationship. And um, I wish her children will be strong for her at this time. Okay, now, so going on to Madame Jaruma's issue. Everybody has a right to buy whatever it is they want to buy to use for their personal affairs. It's their business, okay? But, you know, it's just a choice. However, what I would just say is that um, Regina should tread softly, yeah, because um, she's a very young girl. I think she's just about 22 or 23. I'm not sure, but definitely she's not up to 25 years old. And she has the whole world at her feet. You know, she has her loving husband, she has a son, she has her mother, she has loving siblings, and she's getting endorsement. Um, but it's so easy to, you know, to find her to sustain a particular height, all right? So it will take a lot of maturity on her part to maintain a home with her husband and also a business concern. I like the fact that she's hustling and she's also doing brand um, endorsement for people, which is very, very good. Now that the other cosmetics um, company she's doing endorsement for has come out, every everything body or something, to say that Regina should give them back a one million naira. Now, when you mess up uh, a prospective client because... By Jeremiah paying her 10 million naira, I understand Jeremiah's point because she had to come out to be like, you're saying I'm using it to make content. But the truth is, I'm paying you. I paid you to do business for me. It wasn't free. It wasn't you helping me. 10 million naira is not a small amount of money. And that the only thing done was just three posts. Just three posts was what she, um, um, Regina did before, you know, she now stopped and all of that. So I just hope that they just find, you know, their bearing and get things right. Because, um, uh, well, the Moroccan lady has been told to have gone back to her own country. But for our own people here, Regina needs to tone it down and stop, um, you know, 
talking too much on social media. Honestly, she needs to tone it down. Okay, she she was she collected the money. It was a business arrangement. It was a business deal. All right, and you know, for crying out loud, whatever now came out of there, whatever they should sort it. But it's not good for her as a brand saying, you know, now having a fight with Jaruma who had paid her to do a business. And if the other endorsement office now is now coming up to talk. So we'll keep an update on this. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.